Hey, Diego, uh, congratulations on the goal. Um, it seemed like a, a strong second half performance after a, a fairly frustrating first half performance. What did you see on the bench in that first half? And whenever you came on, how do you think the game opened up? No, I think in the first half, uh, the game kind of was open. Um, it wasn't our best half, and I think we all know that. And um, I think we all need to step up again and make sure the next game we start off strong because um, if we play well in the first half, I think we can beat any team in this league. Um, and again, we we go back to set piece goals, and it's frustrating for all of us. Um, we work on them, we're doing everything, and we're still getting scored on. So I don't know. Uh, at this point, we all need to step up and make sure these goals don't happen because the either we're tying games or we lose games because of these set pieces. You guys haven't won a game in, in the last four games, but having said that, you've only lost one of those. Um, this is a tough road trip. How do you sort of wrap your head around all those different things? Look, in this league, I think being for here for so long, um, these road points are actually important. Um, it doesn't matter if you get one or three. Um, at the end of the day, we all won three, of course, but one point is huge. Um, and now we still have another important road game. Um, so everybody needs to rest up, uh, recover, and go to Charlotte and make sure that we either get one or three. Um, most important, of course, we want three. But at the end of the day, if we if we can leave with something, um, we're going to be happy. Um, and then we're back at home. So um, I think the most important right now is, like I said, we all need to recover. We all need to uh, make sure we're ready. Um, players need to step up. and. Um, at the end of the day, we go to Charlotte and we try to do as much as we can to take uh, as many points as we can. You guys have played uh, RSL number one in the West, Minnesota was number two. Um, you played a bunch of the top teams in the Western Conference. What do you make of the Western Conference now? It looks like there's a log jam at, at number two and everybody's just sort of sitting around there. Is, is there a standout team and can you guys be that standout team? To be honest, I think we are the standout team. I think, uh, like I said, I think if we fix our mistakes, uh, we we should be up there. Um, I don't think there's one team that ha has really outplayed us without us making mistakes or anything. Um, it's us causing these goals, and I think if we get better at that, there's not one team that um, that I would say is better. So, um, like I said, I think if we mix our we mix we fix our mistakes, um, we can definitely be at top of the table. Um, and like I said, uh, these, these points are huge. And at the end, um, these points are going to be the ones that matter. Thanks, Diego. Travel Diego? safe. Thank you. Go ahead, Sophie. Diego, um, the challenge in the second half um, towards the end of the game, did you feel like you deserved a free kick just a few minutes earlier? Was that frustration? Yeah, that is frustrating because like, at the end of the day, if the, the game needs to be... The same way for both ways for both sides um but um we know how this league works we know how this uh the games go sometimes we don't get the calls we want but um so we just have to keep playing um but yeah, at the end of the day it's we we, need, we just need to be better at set pieces no matter what and it's it's on all of us uh so i i'm pretty sure that we're gonna keep working on them day day and day out so um like i said we just need to be better at that and then i don't think there's a team that has outbeaten us when Dayan first came out, the first thing he said was we should have won that game. They did have a lot of shots on goal, but you guys seem to have this confidence um, that not only can you win the game, but you can go really deep this season. Um, is that is that something that's brewing and that you're finding in the dressing room and among each other? Yeah, to be honest, I think today was a game that we should have won. Uh, maybe we didn't have shots, a lot of shots in the first half, and but I think in the second half we had enough chances to win this game and um, shut it off shut it out early um myself i know i had a couple clear ones that maybe if i do a better job at putting a body into someone maybe i can get a shot off um i know day on the same way he feels the same way he feels like uh he had a couple that he should have slipped and should have been goals but that's part of the game um now we need to move on and um when it comes to charlotte when we have those chances try to bury them so the, the team can't stay in it and like i said if we if we start if we play a 90-minute game from the first half to the second half strong, um, I don't think there's a team that can beat us. Thanks, Diego. Safe travels. Thank you. Appreciate and, it. And last question goes to Rob. Hola, Dieguito. How are you? Felicidades por tu gol. You guys have, are coming up on your third game on Saturday uh, in the week. Are tired legs in fixture condition at all, especially 
because you guys have been on the road so much. I know that RSL had, uh, you know, two games this week as well, but they have the benefit of being at home. So um, how, how is the team physically? No, I think we're good. Like I said, I think uh, the number one thing right now is to rest up and um, make sure everybody's uh, good to go. Um, we're going to have tomorrow and Friday to make sure that we recover well uh, and get ready for Charlotte. It's a quick turnaround in this league. We Every player in the roster matters, so if maybe players who haven't played a lot of minutes, maybe they need to step up. So, um, like I said, we all need to be ready, and it's going to be a huge game. And it's important that we bring something home. It doesn't matter if it's one or three. Uh, of course, we would want three, but like I said, uh, these points uh, matter at the end. So um, I know we're all looking forward to Saturday, and we know it's going to be a long week, but uh, the most important thing is re resting, recovering, and make sure everybody's ready.